Well, we know it's not easy, B.A. It's much easier to chase the top than to stay on the top. So it takes a lot of focus, a lot of yeah. determination, a lot of togetherness to continue to stay at the top. But those top teams typically find a way to make it happen. Here are the starters for Charlotte. Ball and Rozier are the guards. Washington out there with Hamadou Diallo. And it's Williams in at the center position. Now here's Diallo. Pass to Rozier. Diallo right side. Williams with it. Defended by Porzingis. They get it again. Williams shot is good. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Cool against Rozier. Here's the kid to the inside. Here's Porzingis. That one's good for two. Kristaps did not get thrown off by the contact. He's just too big and long. Too determined as well. Ball finds Diallo. Who poked away. On the break. Woo! <laughs> I just love that alley -oop slam. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Well, I tell you what, guys. This is really getting close to being real ugly. Back to ball. Uncovered. Boy, he clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. Well, you got to love how quick ball shot is. Doesn't take a lot of time to get himself squared up. Here's the kid. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up. Come on, bro, with this motherfucking bullshit, bro. I just turned this shit off, bro. Like, what the fuck? Up the and one. And that one misses. Easy to see that this Hornet squad loves to play at a fast pace. And for good reason. They're built to do just that. They push the ball up court fast and hard. And they really work hard to try and catch the opposition unprepared and unalert. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in attack mode. And that one's good. Cool. Red hot so far. Four for four. Cooking with gas. Couldn't draw it up any better. With the 10-footer. No good. A bit long that time. And when it comes to their up-tempo play, do the Hornets' youthfulness play a part of that, do you think, Clark? There's no question about it, B.A. I mean, a younger squad definitely, I think, means more natural energy. So they've got more gas in that tank. Their amber light rarely comes off. And they can really outwork more experienced older teams in some cases. The Warriors leading. Here's Curry. Nice start for him. Shaking his first shot. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flowing rhythm to their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possession. Now here's Rozier. His last outing yet, 18 points. Oh, it's stolen. Here's the kid. Uses the glass to finish the layup. All right, let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Warriors. Well, their hands resulting in plenty of steals in the early going, keeping the opposition there off balance. But how about their scoring in transition as well? That's been a big factor to this point. Are those high tops or track shoes these guys are wearing? Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans. They resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, Having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. Here's the kid. Poke loose and stolen by Diallo. Come on, bro. Second team foul. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. The ball finds Diallo. Got a piece of it. Cool against Washington. They get the rebound. Here's the kid. Last game, he had 34 points. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Beautiful reverse using his body to shield the finish. Nicely done. Cool against Rozier. Pass to Diallo.
Rozier against Poole. Here's the floater. And Porzingis with the block. That reach of Porzingis is just outrageous. I mean, I love when he uses it on defense to stifle Shula. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. Now here's Rozier. Offensively, he's been a force. He's putting up around 19 points a game. When Rozier is seeing the floor that well, it makes everything easier for him and his team. Curry passes to Poole. Right side, Kaminga. Back to Curry. He takes it in. Pass to Porzingis. Pool for three. Ball with the rebound. Charlotte trailing. Rozier with it. The three. And they'll get another chance. Puts up a three. The Warriors pull it in. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. And they're really attacking the paint with a fury. They sure are looking to get their buckets up close and personal. Terry Rozier, the third. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Warriors. Jordan. Ooh. One shot. And the NBA enjoying the highest attendance numbers in the history of the league. Clark, compare the fan experience now to where it was in the 80s when you played. VA, I don't know if there is any comparison. I mean, when you factor in the popularity of the league now with the various social media platforms that exist, the star magnitude power of the game's biggest stars oh, wow. worldwide, I just think it's a different time. More teams, more exposure, more platforms for exposure, and a real understanding of how to market the NBA globally. So fans have a way of engaging that didn't exist in the early 80s. Now here's Diallo. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Second person foul. Third team foul. And he can't get the first one. And the Warriors making a switch here. Wiseman's checked in. Good on the second one. Golden State has gone two for three from outside the arc. It's Poole on the wing. Oh, there's the alley. Up high and down it goes on the lob. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a 10-point pass. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleek. Here's Williams, following the score by Golden State. Here's Diallo. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Diallo's got five now. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Back to Curry. And the ball out of play. The Hornets will have it. And you've got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Wiggins, he's checked in for Stephen Curry. Charlotte's gone one of four from deep. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Well, thank you. Get up and make some noise once again for your Warriors 16. And the Hornets with possession here. Seven-point differential. Pass to Booknight. Shot clock at six. Can't get it to drop. The Warriors go the other way with it. They defeated Utah in their last game. Yeah, they hit the court last game with some serious attitude, especially on offense. And you know, confidence is key there.
Golden State has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Curry and Poole, the sharp shooting backcourt for them. Jonathan Kaminga is out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's the kid in at the three. So that's the group out there for Golden State. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. Give him eight points now. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Diallo outside. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist from Diallo. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Porzingis in the post. Working on Williams. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Here's Rozier. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. Here's the kid. Hounded by Ball. Knocked loose. Stolen by Ball. Diallo outside. Pass to Williams. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Porzingis passes to Curry. To the paint. Here's the kid. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got three assists in the game. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, Draymond Green suffered through the losing years with the dubs. He said, quote, I just couldn't get myself going. Coach Kerr pulled me aside and said, quote, you have to be the worst player in meaningless games I have ever seen. But I found a love again, and I'm just enjoying playing basketball. Hey, it shows, Allie. Thank you. Kuminga. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Defensive foul. Well, Clark, you've got your good players in the league, but then there's that group. What y'all want? That is in that elite category. What type of player commands that kind of respect? Well, I think what? it's a guy who shows up every day but produce and produces at a high level. I think you that. probably tip your hat to scores in that case. You, you, you don't see what I'm saying? And Cache given to outstanding defenders. Anybody that's excellent consistently, what? I think, gets a level of respect that's special. Gallo passes to Rozier. I would report that news. Oh, he's got to be disappointed. Look at that move. Oh, oh, no. The defender really didn't make any impact at all. And stolen by Diallo. What the fuck is y'all talking about? Fuck, he makes it. What did that mean? Ball's got nine. Well, I love the feel ball has when he should pull up or pass or whatever decision he has to make. He's still a ball. He's not behind him. Shot from the mid range. The kid with a rebound. The Warriors have got I ain't your grandfather, nigga. In the second quarter. Down low. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Williams has got a six rebound. Up, Here's Washington. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of. What are these niggas talking about? Niggas not going to fly these. Yeah, they got a kid, boy. Y'all not going to get to you. It's a cut right here. <laughs> It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. Savvy play that time on the part of Washington. Got his man in an awkward position and then threw the foul. He's off on the second. The Warriors leading. Cool with the ball. Diallo picks him up and stolen by Diallo. Porzingis grabs the board. Golden State has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Ball against Kaminga. Pass to the kid. From down in the low post, it goes. 12 points for him. And for the Hornets, their 
They're shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Last time they met was in Charlotte. This time around, they're looking for better execution offensively. They have to avoid mistakes. And it really was the turnovers that fueled the blowout. A lot of questionable, poor decisions by them with the ball. And when that happens, you can get blasted. Yeah, where you at, man? Yeah. Here's Washington. Eight points in his last time out. Now Porzingis. And early in his career, Porzingis was a shot creator. You think he can get back to that grant? You know, B.A., yeah. In Dallas, his role was more catch and shoot. So it'll be interesting to see in a different system how active a role KP can fill, especially going to work inside. And after winning MVP honors in 2015, Steph Curry was even better in 2016, taking home another MVP award going back to back. No good on that one. And that 2016 MVP year for Curry, Grant, one of the best regular seasons ever. Oh, so true, B.A. Think about this. The Warriors winning an NBA record 73 games. Steph shattering the three-pointers made record over 400 for the season. Also leading the league in steals. Steph in 15-16, something else, guys. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding, especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done on, exactly what's that's necessary that's to take the lead. Charlotte trailing. And here's Rozier. Pass to Diallo. That one drops. Ooh. 20 for 6 now. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. Here's the kid. And he dumps it down. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo. What a tough PA. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. And why not? A little salt in the wound. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys reeling and on the ropes. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. All no good. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Here's the kid, covered by Diallo. Here's the kid. That one falls. Eight of ten and scoring with confidence. Boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now. And so far, no go. Rozier outside. Washington up top. Diallo outside. Pass to Williams. Back to Diallo. Pocket four. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. That free throw misses. Moody's checked in for the Warriors. And the Hornets making a change here as well. Book night. He's checked in for LaMelo Ball. The Warriors have gotten six of nine attempts to go in the second. Looking good. Pass to Kaminga. The shot no good. Ooh, Washington with the defensive effort. And for the Hornets, they're shooting at about 44% so far. Now Rozier. Left side, Williams. Six on the shot clock. Back to Rozier. Looking to win this cold spell. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Rozier doing a nice job working himself through contact to draw the foul. And the Warriors making a change here. Wiseman's checked in. Hunter's checked in for Charlotte. Frazier comes in for Washington. Golden State has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. Porzingis in the post. Hunter covering. Porzingis misses. Well, the Hornets shooting only 31% in the second quarter of this one. Rozier with it. 
Pass to Hunter. Throws it up high. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Here's the kid. Tries it from the block. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. He got his man all tangled up. I mean, serious crossover. Third team foul. At the line for the Warriors. Number zero. At the line for one. Find the lane. Find the lane. No shot. And the free throw, no good. And stolen by Porzingis. Inside. Here's the kid. He's got 18. To the middle. Here's Wiseman. Lays it up and in off the pin assist. Wiseman's got this second bucket. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Here's Book Knight. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Christoph Porzingis picks one up. And he knocks down And so it's the Golden State Warriors ending the quarter up 10. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. We'll be right back. Basketball here. Two quarters in the books. Golden State is gone. Five of ten from beyond the three-point line in this game. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Steve Clifford. Ball at point with Rozier next to him. That's the backcourt. Amadou Diallo out there with Washington. And it's Williams in at the center position. Clock at six. Here's the kid. Covered by Diallo. Here's Kuminga. The shot, no good. And Charlotte going the other way now. That'll be the third stop of this four-game trip. Thanks. Well, the kid in our last game against the Jazz really lit up the floor. He ended up with 34 points and really hit the board. Tremendous production in that area as well. He was focused, very productive. The team leaned on him all night, guys. Okay, Allie, thanks. Well, that was an incredible night for him. They rode him to that win. And he was more than happy to carry them, B.A. He might still be feeding off that performance heading into this one. Yeah, you know, all indications are that he feels good coming into this. He feels confident that he can build on that prior success. Kristaps Porzingis, he's checked in for the Warriors. Here's the kid, covered by Diallo. A nice shot by the kid. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. It's deflected. Second half of basketball. Just over a minute played so far. With the fadeaway. And that one's good for Zingas. And it's a 12-point Warrior lead. It's really a challenge to keep Porzingis in check from mid-range. He's so tall and long, and he's got a great feel for the shot. The three from Washington. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Curry passes to Porzingis. Down low. Curry against Ball. Here's Curry. He's covered closely. Oh, it's blocked by Washington. Three corner Rozier. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got four rebounds now. And here's Kaminga for three. Paul with the rebound. 
Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Well, it's a nice sight to see Washington attacking inside, just making the defense foul. Shooting for Charlotte, P.J. Washington. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Falls for Washington. Both shots good from the strike. The Warriors have gone two of five in this third quarter. His Curry for three. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Diallo. Blocked! And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Rozier. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Forcing his high post. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. What impresses me most about Porzingis is how versatile he is. I love that about a big man who does a little bit of everything. First one falls for him. Taking two shots. Free throws good from Porzingis. And the big fella with the skill level showing a soft touch at the line. Ball passes to Rozier. Back to ball. Washington outside. Rozier outside. Pass to Washington. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Curry with some nice D. Clearly out of rhythm now, guys. I mean, just one for five to begin the second half. Dominguez's shot is off. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. Blocked! And they get it back. Diallo outside. Hey, expanding his range. The Warriors pull it in. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Curry. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Curry's got his second basket of the night. And I'll tell you, we see Curry working on his balance all the time. Well, I'll tell you what, it paid off on that challenging play. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Making an impact. I love the aggression. Playing on that front foot and looking to expand their lead. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. minutes here into the third pass the ball now Williams inside deflected Diallo with the ball just four to shoot the three from ball and they recover it Charlotte again missing Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third to the paint takes one from 10 feet and that one's long. Charlotte's gone one of four here in the third from range. Curry with a steal. Pass to the kid. 
Rodgers. And they call an illegal screen here. That's really a tough call. One you don't like to see, but it was called. And now he's got to really make sure that he's on top of his game here in regards to not picking up another foul. That was his fifth right there. Now Washington. There's the three. Warriors with the rebound. Domingo's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Oh, nice one in the jam, the NBA. Hey, little exclamation point. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Pool against Rozier. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Diallo. To stop the drought. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after it. You know, he's been off tonight, off his game. At this point, he might want to focus on creating for others. On the wing, Rozier. There's the drive. Now here's Washington. And with plenty of time left, that's his fourth foul. He needs to stay cognizant of that moving forward. Pass the ball. Six on the shot clock. And here's Diallo. He tries for three. It's been a challenging quarter for them, and his offensive inconsistency is a driving factor. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And that's a good place to start if you're going to try to find your way back into this game. Get to work on the glass. Offensive rebound. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to be on Jonathan Bingo. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Warriors. We have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks, too. And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I love seeing that. A team staying aggressive even when they're playing well. Wiseman, he's checked in for Chris Stops Porzingis. Ball passes to Williams. Poole against Rozier. Knocked away. Yet another steal from him. Gotta be careful around him. Oh, wow, that type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. And guys, I know there are a lot of questions right now defensively for this team. There's no doubt about that. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Pass to Diallo. Rozier with it. Five on the clock. And it's Rozier. That time on the assist from Diallo. Diallo's got assist number five here tonight. And the Warriors make some changes. Porzingis has checked in for Wiseman. And it's Wiggins in for Poole. Here's the kid. He's got 24. Drills it from deep. He's got 27. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, hey, they've been clearly the better team. Diallo against Wiggins. Diallo outside. Shot clock at five. Warriors foul. Number zero. Fifth person foul. Team is in. No good on the free throw. Clay Thompson. Substitution on the court. Shooting for Charlotte. On the Diallo. One shot. Intensity he's brought to the floor since halftime in constant attack mode. Outside Curry to the inside and blocked. That one goes careening. 
Leg off the glass. Diallo with the ball. Now Wiggins defending. And Diallo, here we go. Pass to Frazier. Banked it in off the glass. Give him eight. Yeah, he recognized the overcommitment by the defense there and then made a smart pass to get that ball back outside. Thompson left side. Inside. Here's the kid. And he slams it in one-handed. We highlight Thompson scoring off the foot right there. Just a great read to get it to the open teammate. Here's Frazier. Diallo outside. Pass the ball. Here's Frazier. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. They've led by as many as 14. And after this one, they're at home against Phoenix. It'll be game number two in their five-game homestand. The kid, boom, he jams it straight down. And adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. Can't blame them. Just trying to take what the defense allows. And so it's the Golden State Warriors finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. And they push the tempo in this one, getting out in transition and making the defense pay. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. They've got Andrew Wiggins. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Kaminga. Then it's Jordan Poole. And it's the kid. In at the three. That's the Warriors five. Ball outside. Let's it fly. And perfection right through the net. A lot of different ways to knock down shots. And ball's form is certainly unorthodox. But it works for him. And he's got a really quick release that allows him to get it off. Washington against Kaminga. Here's the kid. Shoots a fadeaway. That one drops for him. 33 points for him. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Charlotte trailing. Ball with it. Poole picks him up. Rogier, the pass to Washington. Can't cash it in from close range. Golden State has gone 7 for 17 for three-point range so far in this matchup. Oh, man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. First free throw is good. Jonathan Kuminga. Two shots. Both good from the line that time. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. Pass to Diallo. Now here's Ball. Over to the left wing. The three from Washington. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got his third assist of the night. Wiggins outside, back to Poole. Outside for Zingas. Poole outside. There's the triple. Sinks the tray. And the Warriors lead by 10. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Basketball.
Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Pass to Wiggins. Outside for Zingas. And here's Poole. Here's Kaminga. He's guarded by Washington. Shot clock at six. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Personal foul. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. And that's taking care of business, fellas. At the line for two. First free throw is good. It's both from the stripe. The Hornets have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Ball passes to Williams. Shoots. Charlotte gets it back. That's been the difference tonight. They've been insanely destructive on the glass. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Six to shoot for three. Diallo. The defense is giving them plenty of trouble here in the second half. They may need to run some new plays. Pass to the kid. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Third team foul. At the line for the Warriors. Number zero. That free throw, no good. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Charlotte's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's Ball. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, bad intentions. Move Wiggins elevation, body control, strength, elite across the board. Ball with it now. Wiggins defending. Ball finds Williams. And there's a defensive three second call. And I think Andrew Wiggins is a great example of how positions have changed. Came into the league playing a lot of the two. Now, we see him at times playing a bunch at the four. And the technical free throw is good. Washington passes to ball. Five to shoot. And here's Diallo. Hey, puts up a three. That one doesn't drop. At some point, you need to know when to stop shooting. Just too many misses piling up for him. Wiggins passes to Porzingis. Over Diallo. Again! Golden State! And for Wiggins, he'll play the stretch four at times. Grant, he's extremely versatile. And B.A., that shows just how the game has evolved. Wiggins is a traditional small forward, but we've seen that push to small ball, shifting Andrew to the four and even the five during stretches. Rozier outside, wide open look, and that one off the back of the rim and in. To me, this is Rozier's game in a nutshell. A competent, quick thinking, shoot first point guard. The ball's knocked loose and stolen by Diallo. Rozier against Wiggins. Ball passes to Diallo. Now Williams. Pass to Diallo. The three. Porzingis grabs the board. 
He's trying to force his way into a rhythm, but that's not helping the team. Out to the right wing. Here's the kid, pounded by Rozier. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Warriors lead by 15. Boy, that is grown man ammonia strength from Porzingis there. How can defenders stop that? Rozier finds Williams. Now ball, pounded by Wiggins. With a nine-footer. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Pass to the kid. Stolen by Rozier. It's an even three-on-three -three break. Diallo outside. Now Williams. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Porzingis. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. Curry, he's checked in for Porzingis. Two shots. Williams drops them both. The Warriors have gotten off to a perfect 5-for-5 five five so far in the fourth. To the right side. Here's the kid, covered by Diallo. Ball against Curry. Clock at six. Here's Poole. Washington grabs the miss. Washington's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Diallo outside. Pass the ball. And here is Williams. He's covered by Curry. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist by Ball. Williams has gotten four this quarter. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Curry against Ball. Here's Poole. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And they'll keep possession. Charlotte's gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Back to Ball. Pass to Williams. Rose here outside. Back to Williams. And they pick up two. Rozier is certainly a true combo guard in my mind. And he's actually gotten better as a playmaker. Curry against Ball. Here's the kid. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Williams has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Here's Rozier. They grab their own miss. And Williams punches it home. Grabs the board and goes right in for the putback. I love it, B.A. Yeah, wanted to close the gap. Makes sense to get aggressive on the glass here. Well, I don't think it would be a bad idea. I mean, they could use all the second chance points they can get. A nice shot by the kid. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. And, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Diallo passes to Williams. Rozier outside. Washington outside. Shoots over Kaminga. And they get it back. Hard work on the glass gives them back the ball. And they get to milk a little clock here. Hey, the struggle is real. He hasn't found much success with his offense today. And that one's good. Cool. Main alert and aware. Wiggins sees his man flash to an open spot. Wiggins passes right on the money. Pass to Rozier. 11 feet out. That shot is off. And Golden State will come the other way. To the paint. Here's Kuminga. Oh, another basket for him. He's 6 of 11 now. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Here's Ball. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one belongs to Wiggins. Already in his career, we've seen the numerous ways in which Ball can score. He's got a lot in his package. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the 
the first one at the line is good. Tons of hype around the mellow ball. The third overall pick in 2020. Just like you, Grant. Uh, yeah, although the draft was a little different back in my day. But let me tell you, B.A., there is so much pressure being a top three pick. It's really impressive that LaMelo has lived up to the lofty expectation. Now a timeout called by Golden State. LaMelo Ball is must-see TV. He is so much fun to watch. An exciting young all-star plays with such verve and confidence. And his passing ability incredible. And as a result, he's in the highlight reel more often than not. Golden State has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Curry passes to Poole. Back to Curry. Wiggins left side. Poole outside. Back to Wiggins. Using his post moves to get the two points. And talking about LaMelo, his game has caught the attention of the legend, Magic Johnson. There were few that did it anywhere near the level that Magic did it at. With his enthusiasm and creativity as a passer. And, and so Golden State takes this one, and by a big margin. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They did just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. And that about wraps it up for Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later. Boy, tough game. How did you guys manage to get this win tonight? You know, it, it, it always comes back to defense. You know, in the second half, we got defensive stops. We got rebounds. You know, we were able to get out in transitions. We shared the ball in it. You know, we kept it from moving from side to side. And we just played with great pace tonight. You were really effective at starting the break tonight. How mm. did you go about doing that? Man, just, just cleaning the glass and keeping my head up. You know, looking for the outlet pass, you know, we got a lot of speed and athleticism. So anytime we can use that to our advantage is a good thing. That certainly is. Worked out well tonight. Thank you. Anytime, man.